Hello, Baby Bean and everybody on Baby Bean Storytime. My name is Grandma Cookie, and today we're going to tell you a story. But first, grab your favorite stuffed animal, maybe your favorite blankie, and find your favorite reading spot. I chose my bedroom today because it's quiet in here, and I can read the Beginner's Bible Timeless children's stories and we are on the new testament timeless bible story so we're starting the new testament this week we are going to read an angel visits mary luke 1 26 through 38 god sent the angel gabriel to visit a young woman her name was mary she was scared she had never seen an angel before. Gabriel said, don't be afraid. You are very special to God. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must name him Jesus. He will be called the son of the most high God. Mary asked, how can it be so? I am not married. Gabriel answered, with God, all things are possible. Mary said, I love God. I will do what he has chosen me to do. Baby Jesus is born. Luke 2, 1 through 7. Mary loved Joseph. Mary and Joseph were going to be married soon. Joseph lived in Nazareth, but his family lived in Bethlehem. A new leader named Caesar ordered all people to go back to their homeland. He wanted to count all the people in his kingdom. So Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem. Mary was going to have her baby soon. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a safe place to sleep. But all the inns were full. Finally, a man was able to help them. He said, I do not have any rooms left, but you are welcome to sleep in the stable. Joseph made a warm place for Mary to rest. While they were there, little baby Jesus was born. Mary wrapped Jesus in stripes of cloth and gently laid him in the manger. Shepherds visit Luke 2, Luke 2, 8 through 20. On the night Jesus was born, shepherds were watching their sheep. Suddenly, an angel stood before them, and God's light shined all around. The angel said, do not be afraid. I bring joyful news to all people. Today in the town of Bethlehem, a savior has been born. He is lying in a manger. Then a choir of angels appeared. They sang glory to God in the highest, peace and goodwill to everyone on earth. The shepherds rushed to Bethlehem. There they found baby Jesus. They told Mary and Joseph what the angel said. As they returned to their sheep, the shepherds told everyone what they had seen and heard. All along the way, 
the shepherd shouted praises to God. Okay, we are going to finish next week. We're going to meet baby Jesus, but we're going to finish for now. And um, we had Thanksgiving this last week, and I had so many blessings. I've got um, great friends and family and food and all kinds of things. And right now is the season for um being with your family and friends and to help one another. And, and we had an interesting story that happened the other day. My husband had somebody show up at his work. He works at a gas station and they used their restroom and they left their wallet in the restroom. And so my husband came home and we found them on Facebook messenger and I messaged them and they called the gas station and said they lost their wallet. And we told them that we would get it to them. So we dropped it in the mail for them, mailed it all the way to where they live. And not even a week later, it was right after Thanksgiving, we got a letter in the mail from that person thanking us um, for mailing her ID and medical cards and all of our stuff that was in our wallet, including the money. Well, she sent it all back to us, all the money and um, our postage and everything. And it was just a nice warm feeling to know that there are people out there that um, reward you for kindness, even though you don't expect things like that. Um, it was kind of a nice blessing and stuff because that's going to be Christmas money and um, birthday money for my baby Bean and, and stuff like that. So that was just, it was wonderful. I didn't do that to get something. I wanted her to have her stuff and she was on her way home and it was a drive. So I was hoping by the time she either got home or, um, you know, a day later, her stuff showed up in the mouth. So um, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted her to feel. I, I didn't expect anything back, but it was wonderful to know that people appreciate that and there is trust in the world and stuff still. So uh, let's give ourselves a little prayer before we leave and um, let's just pray for those people that need this is funny I can't I have a hard time saying my prayers out loud so I'm going to say my prayer inside and you guys pray for whatever you feel like you need to pray for today okay Amen. Thank you all for watching and I uh, will see you next week. Mm -hmm.